Now we in this module will see that in case of adjacent utterances through which two conversationalists perform some action like they make request or they invite somebody. So, sometimes it happens that instead of one expected answer, there are two expected answers. Alternative expected answers are also possible. The first one that is expected, it is called preferred. And the other one that was not expected, it is called dispreferred. And both together are called preferred sequences. Here, preference or preferred never refers to our own desire, our own will, our own decision for choosing something. It is not that sense of this word here. Here we mean by preference that this is conventionally preferred. The second part of adjacency pair is in form of options. There are two options as I have told you. First option that is conventionally expected is preferred, the other is dispreferred. For example, if somebody invites, the expected first answer that is preferred would be acceptance and that is unexpected, it would be rejection of invitation. Similarly, if speaker A accuses in reply to that, speaker B would deny it. This is expected, this is preferred. And uh, if speaker B accepts the acquisition, admits it, it would be confession and this is dispreferred. First answer in these examples is preferred and second is dispreferred. See this dialogue, why don't you come in CB? Now see this is transcription of some dialogue. That's why you see here brackets and uh, see square brackets here show that speaker B and A overlap. They speak simultaneously. They speak together. This is overlap. For speaker B says, for example, why don't you come and see me some times? From times onward, speaker B answer is not complete, but speaker A interrupts and complete the utterance. He says, I would like to. This is overlap. Now, speaker B says, why don't you come? This is invitation. Speaker A says, I would like to. This is preferred answer that he should accept it. But speaker B again, why don't you come to see me sometimes? Now, if speaker A says, Mum, well, that's awfully sweet of you. I don't think I can make it this morning. So this is a kind of refusal. This was not expected by the inviter, speaker B. This is this preferred answer. And uh, see another difference. When the invitation was accepted, it was very direct. I would like to. There are no hesitations, no fillers. See, when there is refusal, there are hesitations like uh, you see here, mum, well, they are introducers. That's awfully sweet of you again uh, to show 
some kind of politeness. I don't think I can make it this morning. I can't come to you this morning. So this is a polite way of refusing the invitation. The response, this, these responses of the second speaker, they also show the sensitivity to the other speaker. If the speaker is intimate, the uh, respondent is intimate, second speaker, so then you would be direct in your response. And if the second speaker is higher, senior, uh, in status wise, that person uh, is at higher pedestal, then or it, uh, that person is strange, then you would use long and indirect answer. So we conclude that in case of adjacent pairs, we can expect two answers. One is expected and the other is unexpected. Expected is called preferred and unexpected is called dispreferred. And dispreferred answers often are long and indirect.